So how long and how many times have I complained and gurned and mentioned about wanting to get lip filler? Quite a lot. <laughs> so it's one of those times. Why is there a flight? You, you can be anywhere in the world. You're in my room. This is one of those times <laughs> where I have officially, again, went off getting lip filler. <laughs> I want to say contemplate it for so many years at this point whether I want to get lip filler or not. And I've honestly came to the conclusion that if I really wanted to do it, I would have done it by now. But I have to say I have, I think I've finally mastered how to make my lips look as if I've got lip filler. And I'm gonna share yous with it. Share yous with it. Show, share, share it with yous. Oh my God. <sighs> Obviously yous have seen me time and time again line my lips, do my lips and my tutorials, but I don't go into depth, I don't go into detail, I don't tell you why I do this, I don't tell you why I'm using this lip liner and that lip liner, I don't talk you through it. So this is what it's gonna be, it's just a really in-depth tutorial on me lining my lips and how I fake that lip filler <laughs> look. And this is just gonna be a couple of easy steps, it's extremely easy, I'm not going to overcomplicate things by going into too much detail about like the shape of my lips and what I want to change and how I want my lips to look I'm literally just gonna get into it. I know this triggers so many people. Imagine. Can't relate. <laughs> with the fact that I have and I start off with foundation on my lips for the simple fact that I like to have my face as a completely blank canvas and especially when it comes to my lips. I'm a freaking fly! <laughs> So I basically find that, that having the makeup foundation on my lips just cancels out the colour of my lips and that just means that I'm going to get the true colour of the lip liner or the lipstick that I'm going in and using. And I also find that having the foundation and makeup on my lips also kind of acts as a bit of a base and primer for not only my lip liner but my lipstick and I do feel like my lip products last so much longer. And that's obviously just my wee humble opinion. I'm going to be taking two lip liners. This is something I have been doing as of recently and I have noticed that it has made somewhat a bit of a difference as to how my lips look. I have noticed that the pictures I've been putting up on Instagram as of recently I genuinely have been thinking to myself, damn, my lips are juicy <laughs> and I honestly personally think they look so nice like this lip combo as well. Oh, it's just scrumptious, if I must say so myself. <laughs> so the two lip liners I'm going to be taking is one from Colourpop, this is in the shade CTRL. I'll swatch it for you. So this lip liner is just a nice wee true brown. So I like to take a slightly darker lip liner than my lips. That's just my preference. Some people like to go in with a lip liner that matches the actual colour of their lips but it's just their lips but better in colour and that's completely fine. I want to keep on repeating this, makeup is a preference, you do you. This is obviously just me and my preference and what I like for myself, okay? But if you are somebody that doesn't necessarily like to have a dark lip liner, like say this one, and you want to go for a lip liner that is your lips but better, but you still want to give the illusion of a bigger lip, you can kind of go off your lip colour but go for a lip liner that has the same undertone as your lips, if that makes sense. So the second lip, li <laughs> the second lip liner I have here is from Technique and it's this is in the shade Berry, so I'll also give it a wee swatch. This lip liner here is slightly lighter than the previous one because I have, as of recently, liked to do kind of like an ombre type situation and I feel like this is key to giving your lips the illusion of looking so much bigger and more plump. So you can see the difference of the colour between those two. So these two are just a kind of feel like a perfect combination that they just kind of blend and fade into each other beautifully, especially with an ombre lip. First, obviously, I'm going to go in with the Colourpop lip liner. This is the darkest one. So I usually like to start lining my lips at the, either at the cupid's bow or here, it doesn't really matter. And also, I forgot to mention that, see, whenever it comes to lip liners, I always love to find a lip liner that is really nice and creamy. It just makes the process so much easier. There's no tugging, there's no dragging. We're so lucky these days to have like such fantastic brands at an affordable price. 
for such a good lip for such good lip liners like the ColourPop ones are my absolute fave if you're looking for something more affordable if you want to splurge Charlotte Tilbury which I've never actually experienced <laughs> Um, but the Vave ones, I love the Vave lip liners. They're so, so creamy and they're just so easy. So definitely find a lip liner that is creamy, but not only just creamy, but long lasting because you want your lip liner to last all day. So I'm going to start by aligning just at the bottom. And I'm not too sure if you can see or not, but you can see where my lip line is, okay? But I'm going to go slightly over that. Like, literally just over it. But I literally just want the top of my lips and my bottom lip to look more full. So because of that, once I come to the outer corners, I will follow my actual lip line. So you can see here is my lip line, whereas I came right down. But I kind of feel like that looks natural. <laughs> I say that lightly. <laughs> kind of feel like if I also overdrew my lips on the outer corners, it would kind of drag the lip down as well. And it would just make the outer corners just look a wee bit fat. Whereas I literally just want my lower lip just to look like in the center just to look more plump and i'm gonna do the exact same thing on the upper lip as well and see when it comes to the cupid's bow i see quite a few people lining their lips where they'll just go straight across that doesn't sit me and i don't like that so i will actually define my cupid's bow and again because it's the top of the lip I'm going to be overdrawn even more because it's the top lip than the bottom lip because I'm not going to drag anything down and then you see once I've got like the cubit bow and here overlined again I'm going to come down and follow my actual lip line purposely shaved my face for this occasion <laughs> because I knew these were all going to be up in my face I'm now going to go into the Technique retractable lip liner and with this I'm, I'm pretty messy to be honest because we've already got that outline there that's our base kind of settled that's our right line. We're just kind of colouring in by this stage. So I'm just, this is a wee bit stiffer actually than the Colourpop lip liner. So I do kind of feel like I need to go a wee bit harder with this. I'm going to be kind of overlapping this lip liner onto the Colourpop one and dragging it down. And this is going to create that ombre look. And then as soon as I get to the outer corners on the top lip and the bottom lip, I'm going to colour them in as if I'm creating like a spotlight situation on my lip. So I'm having like just negative space just in the centre. The exact same on the lower lip. See the way I'm having to like tug at this lip liner? They're not as creamy as the colour hot ones. Just having like a darker outline and a lighter center it just automatically gives the illusion of the lips looking bigger so if you are also using two shades of lip liner and you kind of feel like you're struggling to kind of mix them together feel free to use a brush and just I like to just place the brush just up the lip line and drag down just press and drag in quick wee motions and I'm just going to blend those two shades together and then just keep on back going back in I feel like this very lip liner from Technique 
is just slightly somewhat darker than my natural lip colour. So that's why I also like it to be like in the centre of my lips. Feel free to, of course, if you feel like you kind of went a wee bit lopsided on one side or another, go in with a wee bit of concealer, concealer brush, cut that out, chisel it, you know, do your wee shape in that way. You can, instead of doing overlining, you can do a bit of underlining. Just do you, kind of see what suits your face shape and your lip and how you like it to be. So obviously you can now feel free to go in with lipstick, lip gloss, or one of the other. As of recently, I feel like an, an imposter. I have been going for lip gloss rather than lipstick. <laughs> I've as of recently just been loving these two shades together and a bit of gloss on top. It was a makeup tutorial that I'd done a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. I think it was the 90s makeup look that I had done. And it was just, it was literally this lip these lip liner combos, a wee lip gloss from Colourpop, a holographic one at that, and ever since I've been hooked. <laughs> I absolutely love it. This is the So Glossy Lip Gloss in the shade Space Cadet, I think. Cyberspace. <laughs> and I like to take just a wee bit. Isn't it so depressing whenever you destroy the doe foot applicators of lip gloss? At least it tits off me. <laughs> So I'm now just going to take my finger. Can you believe I've been loving wearing lip gloss though? Like I just, bleh. I <laughs> like I still don't even like lip gloss that much, but it has been like a go-to recently. <laughs> and I kind of feel like that's also why I like to just put a wee bit on, just in the center, use my finger and blend it out. And this is just. <laughs> and this is not only just going to kind of blend it out, but it's also going to take the excess off. So I'm going to give you some other way close up. Obviously, again, you can feel free to go back in with one of your shabby lip liners. Touch up anywhere if need be, but this is it. This is just short and sweet. <laughs> this is literally how I'm just, I'm happy enough and I'm content with doing it this wee routine to kind of keep me off lip filler <laughs> and do you know what like this isn't a bash against anybody I don't really feel like I need to say this but you know what I mean like this isn't a bash against anybody who has lip filler or anything I just I've just been on the fence for so many years at this point and I do my own head in I'm constantly like next minute I'll just take a notion that yes that's it it's set in stone I'm getting lip filler and it doesn't happen and then I go off it and then I go back on it I'm off I'm on I'm off I'm on oh my god <laughs> like stop but just as of recently and I don't know whether it's because I'm getting older as well like I'm coming 30 I'm just kind of getting to that age where it's like no, oh, like I just, I can't be bothered. Like that money could go towards someone else. <laughs> and I'm just happy and I'm content with how I like anyway. But of course guys, that's it from me. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I hope to see you in my next one.